what type of events are happening in Las Vegas for the month of November? Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team. Welcome to my monthly events schedule and today I'm going to be going over um, the top seven events that will be happening in Las Vegas for the month of November. And I'm sure that there are plenty of other events happening. Uh, I'm just going to go over what I feel that you guys should not miss out on. Uh, Las Vegas has a lot of fun and exciting things uh, for families to do during this time of year. I will also be posting all the information about all these events down in the description below. Las Vegas actually, considering that it is a um, city, gambling, yada yada, it actually is a fun city for you and your family to enjoy during the holiday season. There are so many fun activities that um, I will also go over in my December issue for monthly events that you definitely do not want to miss out on. I also posted a video last year on the, I think there was like five free activities you can do during the holiday season with your family, and then also another video on um, Christmas in Las Vegas. So check out my channel and see what that's all about. So here are the top seven events that are happening this month in Las Vegas. And the number one event is the Great American Foodie Fest. And this event will be held from November 7th through the 10th. Um, Thursday and Friday, the times will be from 5 p.m. to 11, and then Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at the M Resort Spa and Casino. This festival will showcase some of the best gourmet food trucks from all around the country. Some have been featured on Food Network, Travel Channel, and Cooking Channel. Also, you'll find carnival rides, cooking demonstrations, eating competitions, a beer garden, and a live DJ. You do not want to miss out on this year's epic lineup of food trucks. And the number two event is the glittering lights display and the Santa Tram at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Doors will finally open for this beautiful display on November 8th and it lasts through January. Glittering Lights at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway features approximately 2.5 miles of lights, millions and millions of twinkling lights, making for a great holiday experience for family and friends. This year you will see many custom light displays and never before seen lights, as well as some of the old time favorites. Name number seven for the overtop holiday display lights that you gotta see by the Huffington Post. Admission is $20 per vehicle Monday through Thursday and $30 per vehicle Friday through Sunday. Holidays and December 19th through January 1st, also available this year, is a season pass for $75. Don't forget about Santa. The Motor Speedway will have Santa Tram driven by Silver State School Credit Union, available for $20 to $25 per person. The hours of operation for the month of November will be Sunday through Thursday from 5.30 to 9 p.m. and then Friday and Saturday from 5.30 to 10 p.m. Had to change the scenery because it was quite busy here in Sun City. I guess uh, I need to start filming a little before 10 o'clock because that's when all the seniors come out and they do their fun little arts and crafts. So let's get back to this fun event calendar. <laughs> And the number three event is the Sin City Showdown Demolition Derby. And this event is hosted by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, and it will be held on November 14th, 15th, and 16th, starting at 11 o'clock for a matinee, and then at 5 p.m. for an evening show. From Stern Dirt Racing, the largest demolition derby promoter in the West at the Core Arena. And down at the bottom in the description, I posted the show times for each day of these events. And the number four event is the New Vista Brews Best Craft Beer Festival. Now that's a mouthful. Celebrating its 12th year, the New Vista's Beers Brew Craft Festival is the longest running open air beer festival in Las Vegas. This event will be held on Saturday, November 16th from 2 to 6 at the Village in Lake Las Vegas. Attendees enjoy an afternoon of unlimited samplings from both local and national breweries, entertainment activities and games, 
All participants receive a souvenir tasting glass and tasting guide. General admission tickets are $30, and at the day of the event, they're $35, and then VIP tickets are $40, and then at the day of the event, they're $45. And the number five event is the Humana Rock and Roll Marathon. With more than 25 start lines around the world, there's a distance for everyone. This is the only race to shut down the Las Vegas Strip at night so you can discover the sights lights and sounds of famous las vegas boulevard with zero cars this isn't just a race it's the ultimate running experience in the entertainment capital of the world it wouldn't be vegas without the vip treatment and they have lined up exclusive runner perks parties and more there will also be a saturday night concert featuring kesha this is one marathon you do not want to miss out on and the number six event, and it's really not an event, but because it is the holiday season, the doors are opening for it. And it's the ice rink at the Cosmopolitan Boulevard pool. Each holiday season, the Boulevard pool at the Cosmopolitan turns into a winter wonderland high above the Las Vegas Strip. At the ice rink, you can skate across 4,200 square feet of real ice, roast s'mores by the fire, and indulge in seasonal food and beverage offerings. Lose yourself in a magical park-like atmosphere surrounded by the glittering lights of Las Vegas while enjoying light snowfall throughout the evening. And the ice rink opens on November 20th. Did you know the ice rink was named USA's Today's Best Top 10 uh, Ice Skating Rinks in America? That's pretty cool. And last but not least, the number seven event is the Las Vegas Turkey Trot. Far in the distance, away from the bright lights of the Las Vegas Strip, is the Las Vegas Turkey Trot. Now in its 10th year, runs along a old railroad line through Lake Mead Recreation Area. Runners pass through the six tunnels to Hoover Dam, a landmark that's often depicted on the finisher's medal. Age group prizes and the custom overall awards are just as unique as the course's terrain. You can choose your distance from a half marathon to 12K, 5K, or even just one mile. And you can run or walk on the historic railroad trail on Thanksgiving Day, which is on November 28th this year. Each distance showcases views of Lake Mead, which is the one of the world's largest man-made lakes. That's it. What'd you think of my top seven events for November? I actually had a couple more. However, since I'm getting this recorded a little late, I kind of missed the boat on it. Sorry for that, but I hope you enjoy the information that I provide in these events. Stay tuned for next month for December's events. And again, I did do a video last year that I'll post up above in the link um, or down in the description below on those videos, which was, I guess, the top five activities you can do in Vegas for free. And then um, Christmas in Las Vegas video. I also did a New Year's Eve video that probably will still be the same for this year. Uh, the information will probably still be the same for this year. Well, I better wrap this up. It's getting a little busy here in Sun City. But as always, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below share this with a friend, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to learn more about Las Vegas in general, not just about the communities that I cover, but Las Vegas and what's happening in this awesome city. Thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you guys on the next one. day. It's November 2nd and the weather is going to be in the 70s. 